Hey folks, here we go. This was not easy. It's only four bags. Heavy food. Two bags are very heavy. I got two there. I have one here. And I have one up front. It has to be that way. Dining district at Roosevelt Field Mall. Now you saw the table. You saw the table that I needed. That was theirs. When I called the restaurant. Because now, at first I thought maybe it was one of the restaurants. You know, I guess adjacent to the mall. And it wasn't. It was in the food district. Well, it's a holiday. The mall's empty. That's a plus. If this was a regular Sunday, I'd be so screwed. I, there's no way I could have walked. I mean, I could have done it, but it would have taken me 45 minutes to an hour to make several trips to bring this food out here. I'm not, I wasn't properly equipped. When I called the restaurant to, to figure out where they were located, because now I was boggled, they said all deliveries requirement. They need their own table. I said, well, I'll call up delivered right now and tell them that um, they need to send someone else because I'm not equipped to pick up this food. There's no way I could, could have done that. You know, dropping it off to a location, I'm going to the UBS building again at Belmont Racetrack. They send out security. They don't want you near their building. It's, you know, the drop-off's okay with a place like that, but when you're picking up from a mall, it's kind of order, and one bag is really heavy. Without his help, that wonderful gentleman. So, that's, to me, a company should know who they're sending an order to, and they should be aware of the restaurant's policy of picking up larger catering orders. You need to have your own rolly table. I'll discuss that in a moment after I, after I deliver it. This is where I delivered to, in the back of the UBS arena. And she came out with a rolly table because there's no way I could have walked in and out of this building. And that's how it works. They came out, they told me where to go, and all is good. This took me one hour and 45 minutes. By the time I left my house at 11.15, and by the time I got to the mall, figured out what I had to figure out, we got the food to the car, and here's another example of, you know, a worker came out, she said, thank you so much. She goes, it's easier to come out with a table. How, do you, how are you supposed to get, they, they don't let you cross these barricades. They send people out to assist you. Oh, and by the way, I should have taken a picture of it. I just read it. Um, this building, UBS, is a cashless business. They don't accept cash anymore. Belmont Racetrack does not accept cash anymore. You can look it up. When I got the food into the car, I was asked, what's your ETA? I said 30 minutes. I should have said 45. I'm putting down Hempstead Turnpike. I didn't go near the parkways. It is a holiday. You get stuck in traffic on a parkway. I'll never get there. At least I knew. Eventually I would get there if I cruised down Hempstead Turnpike. Something happens, I can always get around it. A little traffic jam, a little accident. You can work your way around it. When you're stuck on a parkway, you're screwed. On the way there, Ease Cater called. And they weren't happy with my answer. She seemed very short and annoyed by the fact I gave her an ETA of 15 minutes. She was like, from now? Well, when do you think I mean? And, you know, I needed a moment. I answered the phone. I immediately start talking. I'm like, I can hear you, but I can't hear you. You're going to have to hold on. Have to connect the phone to the car. Then I'm like, can you hear me? She's like, yes. And she tells me what she has to tell me. And she actually seemed annoyed. I... I was just like, are you serious? I started laughing. I'm like, you know what, guys? It's bad enough you sent someone to a mall that you should have made sure that 
I was prepared to pick up the food. Um, yeah, that I had the right equipment, which nobody ever did. Nobody did this. When I called the restaurant and they gave me directions and I knew where to go when I got to the place with my bags, they were like, it's a requirement. All delivery drivers must have their own rolling table. I said, well, I'm going to call up Delivered right now and tell them to send someone else. They made it work. They got someone from the mall all the way in the back. The guy was so nice, too. Brought the table. He worked with me. He was such a pleasure. But, you know, that's someone's got to be accountable for that. Something happened. This I got this order last night. I was like, wow. I'll take it. I'll take it. But you need to make sure that your drivers are equipped. You need to make sure that the restaurants, what their requirements are. It's not on them to worry about getting the food to the delivery person's car. I would have never taken that order if I knew that was a mall order. You know? So, they called, they got annoyed. What else? This is something you can do when you're not feeling great. Right now, I'm having a good moment. And then I'm just going to have a little Easter dinner with my mom. Very low key. And I'm just kind of taking a break now. But I could have been doing a lot worse. I'm very grateful for it. It's the kind of job. Really don't need to touch anything. Barely. As long as you don't speak. You could drive around. And earn some money and get it there. What else? Um, I think I told you. East Cater called. It's got to be someone else's responsibility to make sure that the drivers are equipped. I got it done. I paid sixty six thirty. That's it for now. I, I think I had something else to tell you, but if I remember before I upload it, I'll fill you in. Have a good one. S see you next time. Bye.